What's up, guys? It's Mike here at Cottonville Road Kennels. Hope y'all have had a really good rabbit season. I hope it's been productive for whatever um, you hunt for or, or however way that you hunt. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been productive for you. I hope you've made some rabbit dogs along the way. And uh, I'm out here the day before the last day of rabbit season and um, trying, to, trying to get a rabbit up in a spot right here that I got. And, Hopefully uh, they'll be able to get one up. We just got them turned out. They're still kind of out just scratching around, eating a little grass and just doing what dogs do when you first let them out. And um, so as you can tell, I ain't got a gun. Um, just choose not to shoot rabbits during February because of the simple fact that most of them are bred and just don't care nothing about it, but to each his own. Uh, but as far as my spots that I run, I don't really shoot rabbits in February. But nevertheless, I hope that you guys have had a good time. I hope you finished the season strong, and I hope that your training season coming up is really good. Um, so I got them out this morning. I got six dogs on the ground. Got Winter, uh, Sarah, Maggie, Grace, Spank, and Felina. They're out there. And so uh, we'll see what we can do this morning, see if we can't get some good footage. Looks, looks like they're working one right there. Rabbit just jumped up right here. They got one track going over yonder. One rabbit just jumped up right here. This puppy's trying to work it out right here. There you go, girl. There you go, winner. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. A cotton tail right there. I seen him when he got up. The puppy's got it all excited about it. That's why I like to see them do it. I like to see them get all excited. Sure does make for some exciting running, especially with puppies. Just that one pup. The rest of them ain't puppies, but that's all right. She's out here. She's out here getting rabbit with the with the best of them right now. The other dogs just come off that track and they're headed to them right here on this one. Good place to run. We might be able to see the old rabbit slip back down through here. Don't go out there and cross the highway. Miss down to here. Now you might look at this place and say, oh, that's an easy place to run. I'm going to tell you something. It'll work the fire out of you just walking through it. Much less running a rabbit through it. I'm telling you, it's rougher than what it looks. All this fast you hard to walk on. And the dog's got to run through it too. It's rough. A whole lot rougher than a pine thicket where the ground's flat. Elena hit him off right over there on the edge of the road. I better go this way in case I get towards the highway. Ain't much traffic on that road, but you know, you just never know. They might cross the bag on the highway. Well, 
I went, I went down that beach line. That's what I didn't want him to do. Well, can't control the rabbit. All I'm doing is trying to control the traffic. Look, I'm gonna go right across that highway. Going with him. Well, that ain't what I wanted him to do. But can't pick the track. Can't pick the rabbit. So we'll see what happens. They break down. Maybe I can call them back. Got him rolling out right now. Across the highway on me. Now he's headed over yonder to the other people's property. Hoping he'll turn around. I made a turn, they're coming back now. There he is right here for him to come across the road. There's one right there in that thicket. Crap, he turned and went back. Call him a highway bandit. Rabbit number two, I caught him off of that one. Hope you know, went across the highway. Got him out here. Grace just jumped one. He shot out across here somewhere. I don't know how to keep up with him. I don't need that much exercise to death. They're going to push him on. They can't run fast in this stuff. You think that they could really burn, but not if they value their daggone ears and their face. It's just a mess. There's the rabbit right there. Hit him back down there where he come from. He was sitting down on him right up in there. He's lucky that she didn't see him. That's not puppy. Get it, winner. Turn back down on his bottom here. As y'all can see, I don't know. I guess I got him on video. He was in there somewhere. Oh, Maggie, she's just getting too old, ain't you, girl? Too fat, too old. She got back in there and grabbed it. Trying to kill my dogs, so running them to the highway. 
see how this one here goes. So far, it ain't been too bad running. I've had to pull them off of two rabbits, but well, that's all right. That's two rabbits that they ain't gonna catch today. So. The rabbit just crossed the road right here. Headed up across that hill right there. I don't know where he went to. I lost sight of him. It ain't hard to lose sight of them in this stuff. They get low to the ground and you can't see them. Went up that hill. You know where he went from there. Saw the rabbit go right down through the under. Barely could see him sniffing out. He might get turned right there. He got to come on over the under somewhere. He may not see it by no good. Boy, I can't stay off that road today. Well, I went to uh, went to the road four times on four different rabbits over there at that spot there. So I just decided I got tired of trying to keep up with them. So I loaded them up and brought them over here to another spot. Now here we cut out, dropped them down. So they out here working up one just now. Dropped them out of the box. So. Let's see if we can get a little footage over here and uh, we'll go from there. Sarah lives on the front end of the track. Felina lives on the back end. Felina jumped it down there and it ran out across to here. And they was going to her and hit the track going the other way. Sarah must have jumped that rabbit going in there. Yeah, that's two different tracks. If they're going out the back side of the ticket, they're going out the front side of it. Way away. Track over there. Track down there. Sarah and Grace and Spank over here. Maggie Winter and Felina over here. Maybe they were about the creek. One track broke down over there. We got over here kind of close, and so they, <clears throat> Felina and the puppy drove over here to uh, Sarah and them, where they was running at. 
I'll never see this dragon. Well, I say I'll never see him. I ain't got a, a real high chance of seeing him. I see he decides just to make a run for it. Well, guys, made it back to the kennel <clears throat> and uh, just got the dogs unloaded. I always check my dogs before. I put them, when I take them out of the box, I check their ears, I check their, their mouth. I just check them for injuries or anything like that right there. It might be looking for ticks in the spring and things like that right there. And uh, the day is uh, February the 28th, uh, day before the last day of rabbit season. And uh, so whenever I pulled um, Felina out of the uh, box right there, rubbed her down and checked her real good. And uh, yeah, this is what I found. Tick. Already crawling. Now for a person like myself who's already had tick fever, you don't want it, so spray guys. Look after your dogs, don't let your dogs get it either. It's rough on the dog too. Limes is rough on the dog. So treat your dogs, take care of your dogs. And uh, and never think that it's too early for a tick to crawl. So I promise you. I reckon this is the first time that I ever seen a tick at the end of February in North Carolina. But nevertheless, there it is right there. Crawling right along. So protect yourself, protect your dogs, guys. Be safe out there running. Hope you had a wonderful rabbit season. God bless you in every way. Remember, like I always tell everybody, keep the love of the Lord in your life and everything that you do, and I promise you, well, I'll be better for it. God bless. See you soon.